Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another Subnautic video. And today, well, last time, we ran into a bit of a problem in the fact that our sub ran out of power. Sucks. Really badly. So today, I looked up, even though I don't really care for doing that, how to get the power slot recharger. Because we just simply need it. And I discovered it's around life pod 19. You need two fragments for it. We're gonna do that. Following that, we're gonna go get some. What is it? Magnetite? Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Which I believe is in the purple mushroom area. It's in one of the holes in the red grass area. Can't remember what the place is called. It's been forever since I've known all the biomes in this game. But, uh, you get a lot of magnetite there. You get a lot of other things. We also need to figure out where to get the... I gotta look at it. fibers. Feeling. If I remember correctly, there was a bunch of floating mm, jellyfish of which you went in and they had some um, of their own resources. Could be wrong. Could be thinking of a different game. Uh, Below Zero, specifically. Because I was watching a video of Below Zero, you know, watching somebody else play it. Fun stuff. So I'm not entirely sure. We will explore once we get our submarine situation fixed. That's not where we're going. It's another 100 meters this way. So supposedly it's around these parts. This is a big deal. We really need this. on the prong. Mm -hmm. 
this amazing planet with its truly deely and frightening fauna, farewell Aurora and crew. In memory of the crew and passengers of the original Aurora. This dude emptied his submarine now, didn't he? Shit. I'm not reading that. This is a gift from a player of China when I got to get this game. I spent more than 100 hours to build my home. It's a really nice home. These are some battery to your first submarine. I hope it can help you. I hope it's not good enough. Perfectly fine. But I think you may know my means. Yep. On a cocktail. Contact me here on my Steam. Not gonna pronounce that. Maybe we can play games with each other. Sounds like a nice guy. Too bad I'm antisocial. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna get back. Near blueprint acquired. Needs a few more of these. Start swimming up. Maybe not. I'm gonna. 30 seconds. Try not to panic. That's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna panic. <laughs> Got some. Go back here. I got three. It'll be good enough for now. Have we gone into this place? Places when we see them now, so that we don't miss anything. Now that we have all the tools and all of the ability to get stuff, I'll just make things easier. system. We definitely need that. Near blueprint acquired. All right. Don't need anything else from that. Can I, can I go through? Thank you. Looks like we didn't need to go down there specifically, because this would have just been better. But we got rubies. Almost died for them, but we've got rubies. On 
ground. Quartz. But we don't have the prawn, and that the prawn is also full, even if we did have. It's been picked up. It's been picked up. Okay. So. Crystalline sulfur and aerogel. I can make the aerogel easily. But the sulfur, I think, comes beneath 400, 300. And it's in a specific type of cave. Now we, we drove piloted piloted really far away. See moth wreckage. Let's go see if we've done anything in this yet. Exit right there. Yeah, we've done it. Okay. This is the purple mushroom area. Come right here. Can we go in? Got enough room? Yeah, we have enough room. There's four most. You're almost dead. Can't let, you, can't let another one blow up. This is the cave that brings us further into the planet. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Uh, yeah. Probably not this one, is it? track of that. Can't be more than a couple hundred. At least hundred. Don't want to accidentally die. Alright. Okay. It's this one. Those going to be hostile? Should have had like a sea moth add-on that 
or at least a, like a electric or a magnetic pulse that keeps the fish away, you know, makes you tunnel through them, makes them avoid you, all that stuff. So you don't have to constantly crash into them. There's no real avoiding it unless you want to go slow. Coral, copper, and gold. I need three gold. How many do I got in my inventory, too? Coral. Copper. Gold. Do I need two coral or just one? Still my inventory, that's why. That's why. Dang, that's big. That go there. This one go here. these back in a month we will wait for that and then once all of our batteries are charged we'll head out and do some stuff
So I'll see you when they're done. Okay. I had to move the charger because, wow, well, yeah. I completely forgot that when you charge the battery, it just takes the charge from the battery that's in the thing. So we're going to have to deal with that for now. I have to keep all the materials to make one of these along with us. So we're going to dismantle this one eventually. But for now, since we are. Technically back, I guess. Look at that. Now we're gonna go explore. We're gonna go back to that little uh, purple cavern again. Thanks, Craig. But we're gonna go back to that. Like I said, that purple cavern again. We're gonna search for some stuff, go a bit deeper. See if we can find any of the crystalline sulfite, or whatever it's called. While we're at it. Start planning for that. Actually, we can actually make all of this, can't we? We can actually do that now. Except for the ruby, we have to go back to get some more rubies. But. Let's not. Let's go look for some nickel ore. Get a little bit more exploration done in this one. Last time we just sat on the Cyclops and just scratched our asses as we weren't what to do. Dragging the shit out. Let's actually do something this time. Back here. A bit deeper this time. I'll try to. Don't need to go down there. should be a structure down here somewhere, so let's go see if we can find it. If we can find it. That's where we are before. And if I'm not mistaken... Structure is either that way. It should be this one. Could be this one. My memories of this game are correct, which is entirely possible that they aren't. Well, there's one here. chest. That's a dead end. Oh, there's the structure. 
good. These are the some jellyfish. Normal plant. Have we finished this yet? We have. Good to know. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. On the PDA. Prepare for the loud noise. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Is it done? I just don't want to interrupt him with this loud banging noise. That boom, 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 whatever it's called. However it sounds. I didn't even make it. Go figure. Whatever. Never mind. It's delayed heavily. You know what? Let's go get some oxygen first. Go continue that. Terrifying. Just looking for a way to get me. Ultra high tech already in PDA, so I'm just gonna get some. Careful. Don't want to accidentally die here. Another PDM.
something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. See if there's anything else here. Uh, no, we're just back right where we started. Wonder if that's where you get the sulfate from. I remember it was near volcanic activity or, you know, geyser activity or whatever those things are called. Thermal. seem to be anything in this one. This room. Okay. This also does not seem to be the way further down. So we're going to find our way out. to get magnetite from. It's weird to have a lot of anyways. I'm gonna head back to the base. Got some cool lore stuff there. And we're gonna make the sea mouth mark two. Possibly mark three, but we need to go get the rubies for that. We need three of them, I believe. We can do that next time. Proper exploration adventure. Start actually going deeper instead of hanging around the top. And we'll start with the uh, blood vine forest area over near Life Pod 19, where we can find the rubies. Sounds good. For now, I guess that'll be it for now, actually. So, thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day. We'll see you next time.